Hi, welcome to uh, NX12 video tutorial. It's a uh, short internet, so this user wish came up. So that's a ball with a handle or a grip. And if you make a view, the clip section, it looks like this. We did it in Kit here, but had a problem to do it in NX. So as it's a really short one, I thought it might be a good idea to make this video. So let's have some fun with Siemens NX. There are many ways to do it. I will show you one. So let's start with a sketch on the Y Z plane, for example. Okay, I need a circle. Diameter might be. Yeah, 100, 200, whatever you like. And I need a line to trim this one. Of course, you could do it with an arc as well. Let's trim. This should be removed. That should be removed. And this should be removed. Close this one. Finish the sketch and make a revolve. Select that single curve here, and you could use as axis that line. And OK, so that's a solid. I need another sketch on the same plane. OK, I could hide the revolve for the moment. And of course, I could hide that sketch anyway. So, I need two arcs and maybe for reference another circle, but that's just for construction purposes. I will go for an arc, maybe like this, and another arc, maybe like that. Now, put that point onto that arc and let's see we could could do with nope I want arc center and the radius might be yeah fifty and that radius might be 50 as well. Okay, let's try to move this a little bit, maybe like that. And then, yeah. You have to fix this, so I will draw a line which goes through that point, okay. That's just for construction. And this one and that one should be, yeah, you have to move from this side, and that one should be tangled. And then I'm able to, no, still not. So I will align this one and that one. And now I'm able to prolong this one, maybe like that. Yeah, that's okay. Finish that sketch. I want to use a tube. So go for tube with that curve. Outer diameter might be 10 or maybe 20. And inner diameter might be 0. And OK. And this should be a new body. So I got two bodies. OK. Now let's show our 
ball I want to shell that ball so go for shell switch to shell all faces select the ball one millimeter thickness to the inside and OK so just for you to check clip section it is sectioned that's shell OK cancel this out now I want to intersect this body with that body and I will get three new bodies so let's go for intersect keep target keep tool this one with that one and OK now if I hide the revolve and I hide the cube you will see I got those three slices and I want to use this surface here and that surface there so I go for extract geometry extract geometry where is it here it is and I want to select this one apply and that one here and OK so I got two surfaces and I got these three bodies and I don't want to see those three bodies so I will hide them now I want to trim that tube so make it visible trim body I want to trim this body with the first extracted face apply then I want to trim that remaining body with the extracted second phase and OK now I want to subtract this trimmed body from the shelled revolve so maybe I show it with a section OK now I want to subtract this from this one that one and I want to keep the tool not necessarily the target but the tool okay then I want to shell that tube so I want to hide those extracted faces and the tube no I have to show the tube now let's go for shell now I want to remove faces this face and that face okay now unite those two bodies this one and that one and now make two edge blends here So let's take a look to our bodies. That's visible, that's okay. Switch back to timestamp order. Edge blend one millimeter. This edge and that edge. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more. Please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. It would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.